What if you can make viral anime videos with just a click? This is the most powerful AI animation tool that we have ever seen, and this tool is free. All of the animations that you're watching right now, it is all generated with this tool. You can see how accurate and consistent these animations are. And if you compare it with other AI tools, this is by far the best animation tool. So, without any further delay, let's get started. So first of all, let's see how it work. So you give it the first frame of the animation as an input, and then the last frame of the animation. Then the AI generates all of the middle frames for this animation. So the name of this AI tool is Toon Crafter. And this is created by the Chinese University of Hong Kong and Tencent AI Labs. And we have already seen some of the AI tools from the Tencent Lab. These are some of the showcased examples from the Toon Crafter, where you can see they give it a first frame and the last frame as an input. And then we have a very cool animation. More examples you can see here. And here is one more complex example. Here is an example of another competitive AI tools. And you can see they are not even close to it. And these are some of the more comparison videos. You can get a better idea of how good this actually is. And it offers one more method to create complex animations. So in this example, you can see they give it a sketch animation. And then they gave it the colorized frame of the same animation. And now you can see how smooth this animation is. And these are a couple of more examples where they give it a sketch animation and the colorized frame. To access the AI tool, you can try this on a Google Colab. But if you want to try this for free, you can use this on a hugging face. So here we have a very simple interface. So first of all, we need to upload the initial frame. So I have some screenshots from the anime movies. So this is going to be my first frame. And this will be the last frame now in the prompt section. You have to give it a straightforward prompt, like a girl shocked after seeing paper. And next, we have some of the advanced options where you can see the CFG scale. So if you lower the CFG scale to 1 or 2, the AI will be more creative. This will not follow your input results, but if you keeps it all the way to the maximum, this will follow the input results very strictly. To get the best animation, you should keep it around 7.5. It is the default. And then we have the sampling steps, which is the default 50 and the number of frames is 10. I recommend you to use the default settings because you can see some of the animation that they have generated are all using the default setting. So let's hit generate and see what it comes up with. So here is the final animation, but you can notice some weirdness going on with the face because this is a very complex animation. So you can expect some of the imperfections. Okay, let's try one more example where you can see this is the first frame and this is the last frame. And here is the prompt. This is just a simple prompt and this is the output. Look at that, how cool this animation is. I think this is much better than the previous available AI tools, like the Pika Labs and others. If you want to install this locally on your computer, you can watch this video because this guy explained everything in detail. Because I am not the right person to teach how to install, as I didn't try to install this on my computer. So that's it from today's video. I hope you learned something new, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, I will see you in the next one.